Now, for a woman in her early 50s, you look incredible. <laughs> you I'm 59. Girl. How lovely to have you here. Wait, how cute is Colin Farrell? Oh, girlfriend, tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was sweet before, but that hole in his eyes. I, know, I, know. I tried to squeeze him, and then I tried to lick his face, and he's run off. <laughs> You're, you're a bit like a puppy, really, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, Not like your puppy. No, no, no. Well, you say that, but he doesn't know he's doing anything wrong. No. Yeah. OK, uh, now, let's talk about yes. Strictly Come Dancing. Who doesn't enjoy that show? It's one of the most fun shows on TV. I yeah. love it, and I love your show on BBC Two. Sorry. I was watching it before we did the show this evening. I love it during the week. You have various people coming for the programme. Len Goodman comes in. Yes. Tries to teach you a few steps each week. Yes. Is it me, or is he getting tetchy towards you? He's getting very tetchy. He spent four series going, come on, Winkles. Do this, although obviously it doesn't sound anything like that. But you know, and, and he's sort of, and it's not like every. I get lots of letters like, "Can you just focus? Can you stop being a moron?" And I go, "Yes." I was like, "Come on, come on, Winkle." So, so the viewers and get I'm, angry that you're not responding to yeah, his letters. Yeah, they're livid. They're livid because they think I'm wasting his and their time. By the way, they're correct. And <laughs> I, and I re and I try and I think, but I just I'm you know teamwork. I'm not good at it. All right. So you can't actually master, but you must have learned some dancing moves. I well, I can talk about it till my eyes bleed. So do you know what's going on? Because when I see the show now, yes. you seem to... And they talk about the line of mm. the arms and the... the Arm using placement. And the heel and the ball of the heel and the, whether they use the heel turn and all this stuff. And I'm sitting at home agreeing, I don't know what any of it means. No, I also pretend I'm an expert. I go, hold on a minute. That couldn't have been right. The heel turn when it's not a ballroom. What are you, nuts? <laughs> and then I realise... I don't actually know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but you must love the show. I mean, I love it. it it's, and what do you like best about it? What are the things you enjoy most about it? I love, um, I just love how competitive everybody gets. And they get, they really take it seriously now, don't oh, they? Oh, and they always start off, and they're ador I mean, they're all adorable, even when they're competitive, but they come in, they go, we're just here to learn something. This is special. Yeah, just we're just going to have fun. A life journey. Yeah, it's a life journey, and it's just something to do. Cut to three weeks later, steal in their eyes. The trophy's mine. Yeah. I'm like, no, no. Where did the, no, 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 you want to do Christmas shopping, it's all right, it's not. <laughs> I'm a bit disappointed there's no one who's absolutely awful in the show. By the way, all I wanted, all I tried to say all week, keep Rhodes in. Rhodes was my Garraway. Gary Rhodes, Gary Rhodes. I, need, I miss Rhodes, because <laughs> what I loved about Rhodes, he came in, he was so sweet with his hair and his fish pies, and he said, um, he, didn't, <laughs> he didn't actually bring in a fish pie, but he might have done. Anyway, he said, Claudia, he said, I, you don't understand, I thought I'd be able to dance, I can't! Oh. And it was somehow so honest. He's a real sweet. gym bunny. I mean, he's a worked out guy, isn't he? You'd think he would have some moves. But he's he... up at 4 30 a.m., pushing that thing. But also, he's a perfectionist. I've never, I don't like whatever it's called, stirring, cooking, yada, yada. But when you do it, I imagine that you're quite, and you have to have two eggs, especially if you're baking, it's oh. all quite. And that's how he wanted to dance. He was like, and I'll do this and I'll do that. And... And I don't think, I think well, you either have it. We have a clip of him dancing, and you can see that he's oh, not good. naturally best. He's nowhere near in the league of bad dancers that Fiona Phillips, when she, I made, miss that, Phillips. she made that her very own. I, I, I love seeing it. It was like someone trying to carry a couch on their own dancing. <laughs> <laughs> it really was. It was. It was, it was just about the greatest thing I've ever seen on television, but, but we decided not to show a clip again because apparently she threatened to kill me if we did. So, okay. so here, this is, this is uh, some highlights from the new series, and you can see our friend the chef. Let's have a look. The arms on that man. What's going on there? I know. Don't you love to see uh, happy people in nice dresses, thinning themselves around? What's that guy? That guy at the end, which one was that at the end there? That was Austin Healy. Now, Tiny he's... feet. Feet smaller than Thumbelina, that's fact. And apparently it makes you a good dancer. Well, apparently that's, that's not all it says about you, apparently, but, um... Uh, <laughs> don't judge me. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Austin, he, he seems to be very... Uh, he, he seems to quite enjoy the dancing. He seems to quite enjoy the idea of himself dancing. And I suspect if he could, he'd probably be out there dancing on his own, just surrounded by mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe just a leotard. No, he loves it. Like, even in the makeup room, one, two, one, two, one. Or watch a Claudia have a jacket potato, one, two, one. I mean, he sort of, he's <laughs> embraced it. Do you go and it. fetch food for them as well? That's very good of you. <laughs> hey, have a look at this. is Austin Healy. This is a bit of him dancing, and we've done it in slow mo, so you can just see what I mean when I say I think he enjoys it maybe a little bit more than he should. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the big uh, one of the big stories this year has been, of course, yeah. John Sargent. Of course, 
John Sargent, who's, you know, a lovely character. Uh, people have, he's gone on the show and everyone's sort of warm to him. He seems to be such a sweetheart. I haven't met him. Is he, is he a, he's a lovely, cheerful chap? He's an extremely <laughs> lovely man who I think, I mean, he'll be honest enough to say, I took part. I didn't know how long I'd be in for. Yes. I sort of can't believe that there's been this rush of, I think he's got more column inches, more people are talking about him. He's with the most gorgeous girl called he Christina. Is. is it wrong to say when I tuned in, first of all, I thought we were watching someone who'd bought a bride from Russia? <laughs> It, it looked like he'd been on the internet and got that. <laughs> is that wrong? Um, it is. No, they get on extremely well, and she's sort of brilliant with them, and I think Bruno called them Winnie the Pooh and Tigger, and they just they sort of glide along, they work quite hard, and what I love is I watch all the training, like 900 hours of it, and wow. the others, you know, they have a sandwich or whatever. These two, when they break, he has all the broadsheets, he's doing a crossword, I mean, it's sort of brilliant, they have a different kind of training. It's a, but it's a, I would love it if a romance grew out of that. Do you think it's a chance? Oh, He's ma is he married? He's a married man, though, isn't he? Yes, I think so. OK, so we'd have to get rid of her first, but then we could get her <laughs> Um Here's another one. Andrew Castle. Yes. Uh, am I right in thinking that he's becoming something of a heartthrob on the show? He's he the one. He is. I totally agree. Well, everybody hears the words, and this is nothing against Kate and Fiona, who are, we, I were my personal favourites. Yes. You hear GMTV and you go... <laughs> yeah. And then he's with Ola, who's the sexiest girl on mm. the face of this earth, who wore a lady. cat suit. Hello. And um, on the first show, all my male friends phoned me up and said, can I come to the rap party? <laughs> While they were doing what your dog does. And, um, <laughs> and Andrew Castle is, yeah, and also because he's really, I think all girls in life, we like a trier. Andrew Castle, you can't say he's not trying, he's in that training room all the time. Who chooses the music on the show? Because it's a kind of mixture of kind of like slightly weird stuff that people only yeah. dance to in dance class, I think. And then they have their version of modern pop and chart hits. Don't they, they choose. They put forward a list right. and then... Oh, you mean the they? Bosses. You mean the dancers? The dancers and oh, right. the... Yeah, when they first meet, so Lisa and Brendan meet, hug. Oh, we like each other. Yeah. Right, what's your favourite music? So uh, I think it was Alicia said, I want Beyonce. If I'm still here, I want... Beyonce and so they it's go like over. a date. It's like a date where they compare Come things. On. They talk about themselves and they say, "How about yeah, you like Yeah, what do you like, you like eating? What do you like listening to? Now, what's the name of John Sargent's lady dancer? Christina. Friend? Do you think Christina and John have a lot of taste uh, in common when it comes to music? I bet he what sat down you? and said, "Yeah, I want some Brahms." <laughs> some Brahms. And she's there going, "I like the cheeky girls." <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully, they've met in the middle. They all end up with easy listening, which makes me. Feel physically sick. Makes uh, me scratch myself. You're not a hard FM girl, then. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, that's amore. That's <laughs> vomit. Anyway, that's, I don't mean it. It's lovely music. But that's where, that's where they get to in the end. OK. Uh, what if, you know, we had a, a chance to be a bit braver with the musical choice oh, on the show? Cool. What if we said, OK, let's put something in a bit radical, a bit modern, a bit new. And you know what? I think it works. I'd like to see them follow our example. Look at this. Send it over. If you should. Oh, uh, the show's live on a Saturday night. Do you go down to the recordings? Because you don't have to be there, I guess, No, do you? I go to the first one and the last one, okay. but the other ones, I have to be with a little... That's little... Gary... Is that Gary Rhodes you're doing there? <laughs> <laughs> it's a small hedgehog family I have. Um, no, the real uh, You have humans. two children, of course. Yes. And that's pretty full-on, I guess. Yeah. Do they love the show? Do they like seeing you on no, TV? No, no. They don't like it. They don't want Strictly Come Dancing itself, or... No, they're too, too little. Young. They're five and yeah. two. They it's want... kind of like seven, eight upwards, and then the, and especially girls, obviously, they love yes. the outfit. But little boys love it too as well now. Yeah, no, my son wants to do ice skating in a full sequin outfit he's asked for. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds I'm like he's not... always going to love his mum. That's <laughs> <laughs> all I want. OK, of course it is. Uh, now, let me ask you about Bruce Forsyth, because Ooh. the legend that is Bruce Forsyth is still not Sir Bruce Forsyth which seems to me a little alarming. I don't understand that. Perhaps Sir Roger could uh, have a word for us next yes. time he has the Queen's ear. <laughs> you I, could do that for I us? I tried. Too? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Brucey, though, how old is Brucey now? Um, 80. 80. No, 80 old. years old. Yeah. Okay. Still going at it, hammer and tongue. Brilliant and, and fantastic. Yeah. Uh, have you seen him doing his warm-up exercises? Apparently he warms up for a while before he show. No, I haven't. What does he do? <laughs> I don't know. I'd like to see it. What, like just... No, 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 he has sex. What do you mean? <laughs> It's the best exercise. I've never really told you that. Yeah, that's not true. Not the way I do it. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Claudia, I love having you on the show. Thank you. Uh, and I love watching you on your shows. I'd like to see more of them. I hope you agree. She's a splendid guest. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Claudia Winkleman. <laughs> Fabulous, Claudia. Thank you. Thank you. Margaret, thank you so much. Thank you. Claudia Winkleman.